Hello everyone. In this demonstration, we'll be going through getting the SharePoint list sites using the Microsoft Graph API. First, we'll be generating graph access token and using that access token, we'll be calling another graph API to retrieve the list of SharePoint sites in the organization. First, let me show you the documentation so this is the documentation and we'll be calling this list sites and this endpoint will be calling after we get the access token so if you check the permissions that is required for this endpoint it says application permission and this is the permission that we need to provide okay so let's get started to start with we go to azure active directory we click on app registrations we create a new app registration we give a app name Then we select who can access this application. Let's select multi tenant and register. Okay. Now we need to provide API permission to this particular application. And the same permission that we need to provide is these ones site read all, site read write all. So we add permission, click on Microsoft Graph, click on application permission, search for sites category, open it, and then choose site read all, site read write all, and add permission. Since this requires admin consent, so ask your admin, or if you are the admin, just give, just give grant admin consent. All right, so next thing is we need to generate a secret. And make sure you copy your secret. The next time you visit this page, the secret will not be visible. Okay, so I have copied it. Let me go to my postman. The first thing I need to do is go to environment. And here you can, if you do not have an environment, you can create a new one. Then you need to give these values, basically these variables and assign them with the value. I just copied client secret. I'll be adding that here. Let me copy other ones as well. That is client ID. Next is tenant ID. Okay, so these three are necessary to generate the access token. Let's send the request and this is the post request. This is my endpoint URL where I need to hit in order to generate the access token. You can get this URL from here. Go to your app, click on endpoints, and here you will find your end token endpoint. Okay, and you need to provide all the values that you have set in the environment in the body x www form URL encoded. And make sure this is client credentials, and I send the request, and here I get the access token. I copy this access token, go to my another API call that is sites, just the sites. In the authorization, select bearer token and add your token that you have just received. And then just send the request. And there we have, you will get list of all your SharePoint sites here okay if you want to filter based on the site name 
you can just add a filter that is search equals to like add one parameter search equals to team so if i have sharepoint sites with name team then i'll get that and here you see team 1 team 3 team 2 team site sample team site let me add team 2 and see what is the result nope so yep yeah, i think i need to if i want to add space then i think i have to pass it as url encoded but let's see whether this will work yep yeah, this is working and i get the team 2 okay Yep, this is the starting point. You can now call any number of APIs. The one thing is required is the access token. That is all. And you need to pass necessary permission. Like you need to add necessary permission. What sort of API you are calling. You have bunch of APIs to interact with. And just add those permission and then you're good to go. Okay, thanks everyone.